to be back is great. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing what they really have in our first scrimmage, which is coming up tomorrow. Um, the team, I think, is like very cohesive, so they're getting along really well. So it's really nice to have them back. I'm excited. So what's different about this year than last year and the teams in the past is basically, I mean, every year the dynamics change because we have new athletes that come in and athletes that leave. So I think that's the big starter. So our chemistry is definitely different than this year than last year. And in the years past, um, we have nine new freshmen again. And last year we had really big numbers. We had like 13 last year that came in. Not all freshmen, but all newcomers. So we've had two big classes of people that have really never stepped on the field at Eastern before. So I think that's a, a big difference for us. And they seem to be meshing and getting along exceptionally well. So I'm, look, I'm excited about that. So I guess that's going to be the big difference between the, next, the other teams is just the fact that we just have new athletes and new ideas and different personalities that are meshing together. So adjustments from last year, my big ones where we need to score more. I mean, that's one of our, has been our weakness for a few years. Um, not that we couldn't score, we just didn't score enough, you know, so that we kind of looked at it as like, yes, we lost by one, but I'd like to win by three rather than that. So I think we had a big push to kind of bring in and develop our forwards and our midfield into attackers rather than let's not let them score. We wanted to go out and push out and score so that if we got scored on it wasn't as devastating as a 1-0 game. So that was kind of an adjustment that in my mind we were looking to kind of push a little bit more on the offensive end. And I think another adjustment was just the fact that we're looking for better individual stick skills. You know, a lot of the teams we play play on different surfaces. So we just transferred from a very fast turf to a very slow turf last year. And that was really rough on our team, especially the returners that suddenly the ball's not going where they want it to or not going as hard as they want it to or the stick skills are harder just purely because of the surface. So we had to teach things a lot, of diff a lot differently just in that transition year. So this year I'm ready. You know, I know, I know what the ball is not going to go as fast and we have more power. So I think that's been another transition that we had to adjust for is the field type. It'll help us, I guess, eventually because a lot of the fields we play against are the same field that we have. Um, but that last year was a little bit difficult. So that was an adjustment that we really worked on over the winter and in the spring was just getting used to the field. Tips for my athletes over the summer, basically pick up your stick and play. Like field hockey is not that game that you can just run miles for and get sprints in because once you hit the field, you are bent over in like a 90 degree angle and you cannot prepare for that unless you actually have picked up your stick and played. So that was my big takeaway is there's a lot of stuff in New England now um, where there's like pickup teams and there's things to play at that they can go pick up their stick and play. And that's the number one thing I want them to do is just play, whether it's on their own individual skills. Um, I don't really care if they can run a three mile or run a mile in a certain amount because it won't make any difference come the day because if you can't run it with a stick half hunched over, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. So that was my big takeaway is just get out there and play as much as you could possibly can. I'd say we kind of have a good resilience. You know, we're playing in really hot weather right now, and this was our first, like, ah, yes, we have some coolness happening. Um, we've seen a lot of athletes kind of wither, but then come back strong. So I think that's a really good thing. And they're pushing through, um, kind of making each other, like they're very good at cheering each other on. There's lots of talk out there during drills, during any kind of exercise we're doing or any kind of running that we have to do, they're really there for each other. So I think that resilience and them helping each other have that resilience is really nice to see. Um, there's a couple, there's a few that are in very, very good shape and then we still have some work with others. But I think that the majority is really headed in the right direction and ready to go for the season. Really, I would like them to be like a cohesive group. Like I want them to know what each other is going to do before they do it. And that's going to come with a lot of communication because it's not going to be anywhere near the mind read of like, oh, I know she's going to take this ball right and I'm going to go left for her. Um, but it's that communication and feeling comfortable with their entire teams that's going to make them have that flow on the field. So I'm hoping for just a smooth field to play with not a lot of people running into each other. You know, just them kind of knowing how to play by using their you know, using their mouths and being able to look up and see each other where their options are. I would like them to lead and stay having the team have fun. So I think that's a very hard struggle as a senior 
is they really just want to win. Like, you know, it's their last season, everyone does, but there's like this new sense of urgency and they have to be able to balance it out with like good leadership and realizing that everyone's coming from a different place than they are. So I think if they can lead and show the girls that they still love the sport, period, and they want to be there every day and get better and improve. And even as seniors, they're improving by the time from their first day from their last day. There's no hanging back and being like, I got this. There's nothing better than me. I'm a senior, which they're not like that at all, which is really nice to see. Um, I think that's kind of what I'm looking for, is them to be able to just enjoy their last season and know that they're going to work their hardest so that their teammates can see that lead by example and so their teammates will work their hardest too. I don't have like big picture so yes we'd like to make it to the tournament it's always our first run and then we'd like to win it you know which we've never done which we've come close but never quite done. Um, I think we need to go one game at a time. I think when the athletes and even I start to look at the really big picture, you get unfocused on what you have to get done tomorrow, whether it's a good practice or whether it's a win for a game or whether it's just going out there and just playing really, really hard, knowing that every second makes a big difference. That's what we're looking for. So my goal is every day we improve, whether it's in practice, whether it's in a game, whether it's for the next day, um, watching film, making sure that they're all looking at the same objectives and like the big picture is there, but looking at it very broken down one step at a time.